How do? JR here. Welcome to video four of our video tutorial series, putting together a Carrick. We're up to the last stage. We've learned how to do magnets. Now we just need how to do gluing. There's not a huge amount of gluing in the Carrick model, uh, just because there are so many magnets. Um, so the show you two little areas. There's one that's a little bit more complicated than the other, so we'll do the simple one first. So we'll start off with one of the cargo pods. So I've already put the magnets inside this, as uh, seen in the instructions. And then we're just going to take the two cargo doors and glue them in. Um, same super glue as we've used for the um, as used for the magnets works for everything. The one glue to make sure that you do not use is a poly cement. So poly cements uh, chemically react and actually melt the two to create a sort of plastic weld that does not work with cast or printed resin. So just stick with cyanoacetate glue, standard super glues. Um, we use Loctite most of the time, gels rather than liquids, but all of them work, personal preference. Okay, so I would suggest using one of our cotton bud sticks as an applicator for the glue, just because super glue pots can dispense super glue at seemingly random uh, quantities at a time. Um, so we're just gonna put a little bit on our pad here and just use our stick uh, to, to gather it up. Now, before we actually put the glue on, we just want to check uh, that it's definitely fits together. We'll obviously have done that when we were doing our cleanup and, and sort of uh, dry fit, uh, but just a double check is, is never a bad thing. So we know where it's going. We know what surfaces we need to put glue on. So we're just going to put a tiny bit of glue around this edge. Same with all super glues. You don't need a huge amount. Just put that in there and then just pop it in the end, making sure we're not smearing it. Put a bit more glue on our paper. See, look, see, it's mind of its own look. It's already dispensing itself. Okay, and then this side, we'll kind of go the opposite, so we'll put it on the inside face. Just gonna put a little bit around. This way, we don't, we don't want to get super glue on our surfaces. We're gonna paint if we can at all help it. So I'll just make cleanup really complex and just pop that on. Give that a squeeze. And then we've got a little cargo pod. Now, although that won't be dry yet, we shall test our magnets. So here we have the fuselage, and we can see, see the click, that our pods are gonna sit in any of the three positions and be held on with the magnets. So you can line the pods up, all nice and fun. Right, moving on. The next thing we have are these window sections. Now, these are a really good idea we had <laughs> that does make this stage a little complicated. So what we really wanted to be allow you guys to do um, is to light uh, the carrot up. So all the windows need to be uh, translucent. Fine, so you've got windows here, windows around the hangar, windows on the side, some on the back as well, plus the, the canopy on the front. And then we suddenly thought, ah, well, if we glue all of these uh, windows and things into place, then when you come to paint it, you're going to have to sit and mask all these little things. So we thought, wouldn't it be fantastic if you could actually put all these windows in after you've painted it? So because so much stuff attaches to the carrots with magnets, things like this, uh, the canopy at the end and stuff, if we could insert them through the hole in the end, through here and through this hole um, in the underside, the only piece we'd then have to put on later would be this piece. And because that seam is hidden by the by the cargo pods, that's not a bad thing to paint separately and glue in afterwards. So we're good. Now, because the uh, because the window sits so far back into the fuselage, trying to get this little piece of plastic into here and into this window is going to be a nightmare. Hence the second use for the carrot stick. So at this end of the carrot stick, there is a triangular shape at the end, and each of these window sections has a weird cutout for that tool. So you don't want to ram this on, we just want to just put it on enough so that it'll, so that it'll hold it, and this is our insertion stick. Now, each one of these things it inserts in a different angle. It is the perfect angle to insert the piece into the end. So you can see we can get it in and it actually lines it up perfectly with the window hole. So what I would suggest is dry fit this a few times, have a practice, be aware of 
the angle you need to bring this in to get it to sit in the hole nicely. You can look through the window to see when it's, when it's locked into place. And then practice just holding it. Then when you pull the stick out, even if you've not got glue on it, it will come off. That's kind of what we want because what we don't want to do is to insert this with the carrot stick, hold it in place, and the carrot stick be so tough to pull out, it just pulls the glue out because it hasn't fully set. So we want it to be a fairly loose fit, but have enough bites just to put it in there. So we're happy with that. That's fine, we'll put it back on the stick and glue it up. And the challenge is getting this so that you guys can have some hope of seeing it. Ideally, we don't want to actually get glue on this outside surface. So we, we kind of want to put it all around these inside pieces so that we don't end up squeezing the glue out and being able to see it. But we do want to put a fair amount of glue on. To all this. So we can't put too much glue on in this case as long as we don't put it on the on that front surface. Okay, that should be fine. Right, so let's try and line this up. So holding this here, using your carrot stick to insert it, We'll ease it into place. It clicks in because it's got obviously that perfect shape. You can see the window uh, is now flush, probably hard to see on the camera. Uh, and then you just got to hold it. So it's a bit of a waiting game. It'll be that whole thing, oh, shall I take it out yet? Shall I take it out yet? If you can, be prepared to sit here for at least a couple of minutes while this dries. So I've waited our two, three minutes. So we'll just slowly ease the carrot stick out. There we go. So we've left that in there. We can still see the windows in there. And then I would leave it for another couple of minutes to make sure it's properly hardened before we start poking the next one in. And there we go. So there, there's your simple gluing and the more complicated gluing for the carrot. I hope you have an amazing build. Thank you so much for buying the kit. Um, feedback, always welcome. There is a spare parts policy, which you'll find on our website if anything does go awry. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta.